for a full description of Adventure Story Builder. And to learn how to improve your English through writing, please read the video description below. If you take time to improve your English by writing part of the story, we'll help you by checking your grammar. Enjoy! George and his wife Jade have been married for many years. They love to stay at home, watch movies, and play with their pet cats. Their married life has been nice, but uninteresting. They have never traveled or done anything exciting until now. Today they are throwing caution to the wind. They are trying something wild and unexpected for their 20th wedding anniversary. Today they are climbing Mount Everest. What are they carrying? What will they do? Do they look excited? Are they ready for an adventure? George and Jane departed their mountainside inn and walked by moonlight down into the forest below. The jungle was hot and sticky, even at night. Descending into the trees, they came across a bald man floating on a beautifully carved tree stump. George and Jane had never seen such a thing. What was the man doing? What was he thinking? And what stories would he have to tell? George and Jane enjoyed their midnight stroll through the jungle and would never forget their amazing encounter with the floating monk. Unfortunately, their relaxing evening was about to come to an abrupt end. All at once, George and Jane were attacked by a group of talking monkeys who loved designer fashion. Folks around these parts only carry woven baskets, cried one of the monkeys. Are these Gucci? called out another, grabbing at George's shoes. Would they escape with their clothes on? Did the monkeys have a favorite brand? And how were the monkeys able to speak? After escaping from the monkeys with most of their fine clothing, George and Jane entered a cave glowing with beautiful, colorful light. They saw what appeared to be an amazing blue vine and moved closer to examine it. To their surprise, the blue vine was a dragon. The dragon appeared to be protecting a sacred tree and was speaking with a large white egret. George and Jane moved closer quietly to listen in on their conversation. What were they discussing? Where were the bird and the dragon from? And what was the tree that the dragon was protecting? After hearing a great story from the dragon and egret and learning about the purpose of the sacred tree, George and Jane continued on their journey. The sun rose to reveal an ancient city built in the mountains. Lured by an inviting aura, George and Jane headed towards the old city. At the entrance, George and Jane were welcomed by two calm, smiling faces. After an adventurous night, George and Jane looked forward to a day of relaxation. George and Jane became the first guests in the city in more than 300 years. Many of the citizens themselves were more than 1,000 years old. What was the secret of their youth? What treasures did the elders of the city give George and Jane? And how would our heroes decide to leave paradise? At the end of their amazing journey, George and Jane lacked the strength to get back down the mountain. They need some serious help from their guides. How was their trip? Who did they meet? And what on earth did they do? Write part of the story below and get fluent faster. We'll be back next time with another piece of the story.